The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? And we can have it all. What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. Done this time. <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. Now, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Huh? It would certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. No more Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Abelard. If this gets out, 
Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing riots... Mr. Aberline. <coughs> I have the utmost faith in you, Miss Fry. to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. Heard about the rioting at the bank. They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste. He repents not at all. could be trying to get in. Yes, sir. Keep this place locked down. Yes, sir. Guard this place as you would the Bank of England.
Now to sneak these back into the bank. There, as if they were never taken. London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Faith in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol.
Miss Fry, I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. 